appreciate of you. The story I'm going to tell you all today is a story that my granddaddy told me. And when I tell it to you guys, it's going to be as my granddad. Y'all ready? Yeah. All right. It was December 1969, and me and my coworker Dale were in Hawaii on a business trip. You see, we worked for Eastern Airlines at the time, which meant we got to fly all over the world for free. How many of you guys have ever flown an airplane? Got a couple? Got a My couple? Brother got well, it's pretty cool. You can go all over the world in a real short amount of time. So we're in Hawaii, and it's Saturday. And because it's Saturday, we don't have anything to do because we don't work on Saturday. So we figured we'd go golfing. And Hawaii is known for its beautiful golf courses. So it took us a minute to decide which one we'd go to. And we finally decided we'd go to Kiowa Country Clubs. But to get to Kiowa Country Club, we had to take a bus. Now this bus went through some of the most beautiful mountains that I have ever seen, you guys. I mean, they were the most lush shade of green with huge palm trees. It was like driving through a jungle in the middle of the mountains. How many of you guys have ever seen Jurassic Park? So you know what it looks like in Jurassic Park? Yeah, I've seen all. That's what these mountains looked like that I was driving through. It was unbelievable. So we get to the golf course about 20 to 30 minutes later, and we cannot believe our eyes. As we get off the bus, we walk out, and this golf course is just as beautiful as the mountains that we just drove through. Like I said, there's huge palm trees on the golf course now with coconuts hanging from them. There's even a couple holes that bordered the ocean to where you could walk from the golf course and put your feet in the sand all while you were golfing. I've never seen anything like it. But before we started golfing, we had to go up to the country club, and we had to get our golf cart, and we get in our golf cart, and we ride down to hole number one. So before I go any longer, let me ask you all, how many of you guys know how golf works? A couple of you, a couple of you. Well, I'm going to give you a quick little tutorial, all right? So the point of golf is to hit your ball into the hole, which is way far away, while taking as few swings as possible. So if you swing twice and you get it in the hole, you did a lot better than if you swung five times and got it in the hole. You all got it? All right. So we're going to get ready to hit our first shot on hole number one. So first we're going to grab our golf ball. Y'all do this with me. Grab your golf balls, and we're going to grab our tee. Now, do y'all know what a tee is? Yeah, yeah. Who can tell me what a tee is? Right here. It's a little thing that it looks kind of like a funnel, and you put it in the ground, and you put your golf ball on. That's exactly right. It's just a little stick of wood that we're all going to stick in the ground, and we're going to set our golf ball on top of it. Y'all got your golf ball sitting up there? All right, now next we're going to grab our golf club with two hands, you guys, and grab it real tight because the last thing you want is that club flying out of your hand when you swing. And once you grab your club, we're going to wiggle a little bit to get comfy because you got to make sure you're comfy before you swing. And then we're going to pull back, you guys, make sure you don't hit nobody beside you. Pull back and give it a big swing. And that's exactly what I did. And when I swung, I hit that ball and it started flying towards the hole. But you see, I'm not that good at golf. And so I didn't think the ball would go anywhere really close to the hole. So I went ahead and started picking up my tee. Well, as I'm picking up my tee, my buddy starts yelling, Johnny, it might go in the hole. It might go in the hole. And I'm thinking to myself, there's no way it's going to go in the hole. I'm not that good. So I pick up my tee and I look up. And sure enough, that ball hits the green, takes one big bounce. And y'all tell me where it went next. In the hole. It went in the hole. That's exactly hole. right, you guys. I hit a hole number one on hole number one in Hawaii. And that was my first ever hole in one that I hit my entire life. Now to put it in perspective for you guys, most golfers go their whole lives golfing and never hit a single hole in one. So this was a big deal for me. And it showed that day I golfed the best round of golf I have ever in my life. And it's because I had the confidence in myself that I felt like I could do anything I wanted after I made that first hole in one. So long story short, we get, to, we get to the ninth hole, and after the ninth hole, you're going to stop and take a break because there's 18 holes in golf, and if you, if you golf all 18 in one, in, you know, one get go, it gets really hot. We're in Hawaii. I mean, at this point, we've got sweat running down our face. I mean, the sunscreen's running down us. We needed to stop and take a break, and we did. We stopped. We got us a bottle of water, a couple sandwiches, and we got back at it. And like I said, there's 18 holes on a golf course. So we get done with hole number 17, we get back in our cart, we go to hole number 18, which like I said is the last hole. And I get out of the golf cart and I'm still feeling real confident, so I'll walk up to the tee box like this, ready to take my shot. You know, I'm ready to get at it. So I grab my ball and what do I do next, guys? Put it on your tee. Grab your tee and you're going to put it on the tee. 
And then we're gonna grab our club. And what are we gonna do after we grab our club? Oh. You gotta get comfy, man. You gotta get comfy before you take that shot. So y'all get comfy with me. And then we're gonna pull back and we're gonna take another big shot. That's exactly what I did. But see, this time I had a little more sense and I paid attention to where that ball went. I watched the whole way through the air. And the ball started going closer and closer and closer to the hole. And I thought to myself, there's no way that this can happen again. It happened that one time. It's never happened before that. No way it's going to happen again. But as it gets closer, my buddy starts yelling, Johnny, it might happen again. It might go in the hole again. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, you yelling at the ball, telling me that it might go in, is not going to make the ball go in. Let's just watch and see if it goes in. So he hits the green and it starts rolling and it gets a little closer and a little closer and it slows down and at this point I'm like, you know, clenching my fist because I'm so nervous because it, it's getting close to the hole. And sure enough, you guys, that ball rolled into the hole and I hit my second hole in one in my entire life on that same day. Now you guys, there's a moral to this story and I want y'all to guess what it is. Why do y'all think that I did so good that day and was able to hit not just one, but two hole-in-ones in one day. You were up first and then I got you. Why do you think, man? I have chips. You didn't underestimate yourself. Exactly. And you, um, you believed it. I believed in myself. There's one word I'm looking for. I had blank. What was that? <gasps> oh, I know what you're talking about. Perseverance. Perseverance. That's one more word I'm looking for. Now. <laughs> what about you, sweetheart? Hey. One more, y'all are, y'all are dancing all around it. Confidence. Confidence. That's exactly right, you guys. Y'all are all right though. All of those, all of those other words mean the same thing, pretty much. I had confidence in myself. I persevered. I had faith. I believed that I could do whatever I wanted to do. I had, I had my mind set to something. I had confidence in myself that I could do it, and I did it. So I want all of y'all to remember. That no matter what you do in life, no matter if it's learning how to ride a bike, no matter if it's trying out for a sports team, no matter if it's studying for a test, if you have confidence in yourself, you will do tremendously better than if you do not. So all of y'all, have confidence in everything you do. That is my story, and I appreciate y'all. Thank you very much.